cookie swirl? See? <laughs> All right, Jimmy, here we go. I've got your pain pill right here. Oh man, do I have to take it? Unless you want to be in a lot of pain. I mean, you have a broken arm, so it's up to you. Take the pain pill and feel better or go through the night in a lot of pain. All right, fine. It's just, it's kind of hard to swallow pills. Well, I can give you the medication in a liquid form. Ew, no, then that taste is always in my mouth. All right, here you go. Here's your pill and some water. <sighs> Good job, see, it's all over now. Do you need anything else? Can you tell me a story? Well, what type of story? Do you? like being a nurse? <laughs> oh, I love it so much. This is my favorite. I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. How long have you worked at this children's hospital? Since long before you were born. Can you tell me a story about one of the kids here at the hospital? Sure. You mean like the story about a boy who rode way too fast on his bicycle and then when he tried to stop, he lost balance and then fell and then broke his arm? <laughs> Not a story about me. A story about another kid in this hospital. I want a good story. Good story? Hmm. Well, I could tell you a really weird story. It was a very, very crazy day in the hospital. Ooh, a weird story. Yeah, I want to hear it. Well, I was working my shift at the front desk when the Shopkins came in. Dun, 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 dun. Please help! Help, help! You have to help my daughter! Please! Oh, what's going on? What's going on here? Please, my child, she's sick. She's very, very sick. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Okay, uh, hang on one minute. Paging Dr. Green, paging Dr. Green. Let me get the card here. Here we go. Right here, we'll have you go ahead and take a seat. Let's go ahead and get you up here. Careful. Here you go. Nice and comfortable, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good. So what's going on, Mom? What happened? She's had a really high fever, and she just hasn't been feeling good. She has a cough, and you can kind of hear that she kind of has a wheeze in her voice. <laughs> okay, the doctor will be right down, and then she'll be able to look at her, okay? Oh, Cupcake, it's gonna be okay. Hello, I'm Dr. Green. So, uh, what's going on? I don't feel... <laughs> I don't feel good. Ooh, that sounds like a pretty bad cough. So you haven't been feeling good for a few days? No. <laughs> I think I'm sick. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, let's go ahead and get you into this room right over here. All right, why don't you go ahead and have a seat right here on this table. Go ahead and lie back here. Let me take a look at your eyes. Okay, open up and say ah. Uh, hmm, your throat doesn't look red or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and get your temperature here. All right, go ahead and say ah. Uh. All right, let's see here. Well, it doesn't say that you're running a fever or anything. Her fever was 101 a couple days ago, and I'm just so concerned. What's going on with my baby? I feel like I'm getting worse. <laughs> so I'm just gonna listen here, okay? All right, let's have you turn around. I'm just gonna listen to your lungs, okay? Okay. How do her lungs sound, doctor? How do they sound? Well, honestly, everything sounds normal, but clearly there's something else going on because I mean the cough, I mean, something has to explain the cough. I don't feel good. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do some blood. So I'm gonna have to take a blood sample, okay? Is it gonna hurt? <laughs> I don't want to if it's gonna hurt. Oh, sweetie, you have to. We have to know what's going on with you. Don't you wanna feel better? It's just for a second, okay? We need to know what's going on inside of your body. Uh, Nurse Shannon? Yes, Dr. Green? Can you please prepare the syringe? Yes. So it's gonna be really fast, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this attached to you here. <sighs> it's okay, it's fine. Here you go, doctor. Thank you. All right, Cupcake, I'm just gonna go right into the little vein in your arm, okay? Just, I have to get a blood sample. Okay. All right, real fast. Here we go. Oh, you're doing so good. Oh. <sighs> All right, good job. We'll just go ahead and we'll uh, put this in the machines and we'll check out your blood. Nurse, if you can help the patient. Let me go ahead and get that off of you. There we go. Good job. You are very brave to get your blood taken. It didn't hurt at all, but just... My body feels like it's aching all over. Well, the good thing you gave blood because now the doctor's gonna be able to look into the machines and see what's going on, okay? Okay.
Hey, Dr. Green. Hey, Dr. Shu. You just starting your shift? Yep. Uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be a busy night. You can say that again. We've got a patient in the emergency room. It has a really, really bad cough and just this, whenever they take a deep breath, you can hear this deep wheezing going on. What do you think it is? Do you think it's pneumonia? Do you think it's some sort of bacterial infection? Well, upon physical examination, everything turned out fine. No fever? Even whenever I listened to her lungs, I couldn't hear anything. She sounded perfectly clear. Well, that doesn't make any sense. How can that be? I don't know. I feel like there's something more going on, but I got a blood sample here, so I'm just waiting for it to finish here. Huh. Well, what about maybe doing a chest x-ray? Yeah, I was thinking about doing that next if there was nothing going on with the blood. Well, I'm really curious what it's gonna say. Uh, do you need any help? Sure, I'd love your opinion if you want to go downstairs and meet the patient. Yeah. You are just so brave. Have you ever been in the hospital before? No, one time I had a wrinkled cupcake wrapper, but that's all. Oh, that was whenever you were a baby. We had to constantly change out the cupcake liner. Well, that's very good. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Green. Hi, doctor. Hello, cupcake, how are you? I don't feel good, doctor. <sighs> wow, that's quite a sound you're making there. Do you mind if I listen to your lungs? Uh, no. <clears throat> oh, I'm so worried. Just gonna listen to your lungs, okay? Here we go. Breathe in and breathe out like normal. <sighs> hmm. Okay, can you cough for me, Cupcake? Ahem. 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 Hmm. That is interesting. Is everything okay, Doctor? Yeah, you're right. The lungs sound completely clear. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Is everything okay with my child? Yes, Mrs. Patty Cake. That's the thing that we're trying to find out right now. Everything seems fine on inspection, but clearly this cough is not normal. <coughs> I mean, a Shopkin should not be making that sound. I mean, a human should not be making that sound. So we need to figure out exactly what's going inside of Cupcake's body. Oh, I'm so worried. I'm gonna go see if the blood results are in. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hmm, now tell me, do you have any allergies to any foods at all? No, no, no allergies, right, Mom? No, she doesn't have any allergies to anything. She can eat eggs, nuts, anything she wants. Huh? That's so strange. This doesn't make any sense. How can this be? So no family history of any type of heart condition or frosting condition? No, nothing. Uh, Dr. Shu, can I see you a moment? Uh, yes, yes. Look at the blood work. It's ready. I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at what the blood work showed. What? That's so weird. That just that just can't be. It just it doesn't make any sense. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No. No. Not even in medical school. Me neither. I've only seen this in medical books. Keep calm. We do not want to alert the mother. You can see how upset she is already. This will really, really upset her. Okay, we need to think of a nice, calm way of breaking this news to her. Well, first of all, can we cure her? <sighs> I'm gonna have to reference maybe a couple other doctors and definitely my medical books. This is just an absolute rare case. Never seen anything like this before. All right, come on, we, we, have, to, we have to get a chest x-ray. But be calm. Do not alert the mother that there's anything wrong. Right, we're gonna tell her right at the right moment. Okay. Oh, sweetheart, you're so brave. I'm so happy that you're gonna be okay. The doctor said that it didn't seem like anything was wrong. I know. I just don't feel good. <laughs> okay, so we got Cupcake's blood work back. So what did the results show? Well, it's a, uh, it's a little, it's a little unusual what was found in the blood work. Oh, what was it? What was it? Easy, Doctor Shu. Easy. Break the news easily. Um, you know, just before we reveal the results, we'd actually like to take a chest x-ray just to kind of see exactly what's going on with her lungs and with her heart. Would that be okay? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and get you all ready for a chest x-ray here. Mrs. Cake, if we can have you hop off the table. Oh, oh. All right, Cupcake, go ahead and lie back, nice and relaxed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this drape on you here, just like that, all right, okay? Are you okay? Yeah, except for I just don't feel good. <sighs> Lower the machine down. Okay, now this machine right here is just gonna take a picture of your insides, okay? So we'll be able to tell exactly what's going on. Uh, Mrs. Cake, if I can have you step over to the side of the wall. Oh, sure. Okay, stand nice and still, okay? Just one second. 
Okay, let me move this to the other side and we're gonna take one more here. Okay, right there, okay? Just stay nice and still, nice and still. All right, perfect. Good job. Go ahead and move this out of the way. <laughs> my lungs hurt. <laughs> and my toes feel tingly too. <laughs> toes feel tingly? Okay, well, let me go ahead and look at your toes here. Let me see. Is it both toes or is it just one? Both of them. Uh, nurse, can you please let me know when the x-rays are ready? Yes, sure, let me check the computer. I'll let you know when they're in. <laughs> I feel like my toes are going numb. Okay, can you feel your toe when I do this? No. Okay, what about this? No, I just feel tingly. What is going on with my child? I don't feel good. I don't feel good. We gotta get her some oxygen right now. Right now, Dr. Green, I need you. Here's the oxygen. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Dr. Green! What's going on? She's going into shock! Prepare to shock! Ready and clear! Wait, wait! She's stabilizing! What is going on? I don't feel good. What's going on with my child? Dr. Green, the x-ray results are in. Nurse, can you please get a cold rag, please? I don't feel good. I'm gonna go look at the x-ray results. Yes, doctor. Oh, sweetheart. So what is going on here? What? What is that? What is that? What is that in Miss Shopkins' body? I've never seen anything like that. What is that? Oh, oh. Is everything gonna be okay? Your daughter has a very, very rare virus coursing through her body right now, ma'am. It seemed to have infected her heart and her lungs. Where is Dr. Green with those x-ray results? I'll go check on her. Dr. Green? Dr. Green? <gasps> Dr. Green! Dr. Green, are you okay? <sighs> Dr. Green, are you all right? What happened? Did you fall? <sighs> I need to lie down. Oh, I need to lie down. Is everything okay? What happened? I just, I have to lie down. Here, let me help you up. Oh, here, here, sit in the chair, sit in the chair. Oh, can I get you some water? No, no, I don't want anything. I just wanna go home. I wanna go home. Dr. Green, you're in the middle of treating a patient right now. I can't treat that patient. I cannot treat her. Why? What's wrong? Dr. Green, what's going on? Did you get the x-ray? Dr. Shu, I have to go home. I can't treat the patient. What are you talking about? What, why? I, I just need to go home. I need to leave. I need to get out of here. Oh, no, tell me, what's going on? I just, I just can't be around that patient. It's not safe. Oh, oh. What is going on? Did we get the x-ray results in? Yes, doctor. I told Dr. Green they were there. Let me see. I don't see anything here. Where, where are the x-ray results? Doctor, they're there. The x-ray results are there. Well, how come I'm not seeing them then? Can, can you pull them up for me? Patient not found? I don't understand what's going on. I, I, I saw it there, I saw it there. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just we'll just have to do the chest x-ray again. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Cake? Mrs. Cake? Cupcake? Where, where did they go? What do you mean, the patients just vanished? They were in this room. That is so weird. What happened? Huh? The door just closed. We must have just missed them. What? Come on, let's go outside. Where are they? That is so weird. Where would they go? I, 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 don't, I don't understand what happened. It's just so strange. They just disappeared just like that. I, I don't know what to tell you, Dr. Shu. This is so weird. Maybe I'm not getting enough rest. I, I don't understand. Okay, well, if the patients come back, please let me know immediately. Yes, you got it. And just like that, the patients completely vanished. Whoa, that's a cool story. They just disappeared? Well, they vanished from the hospital that night, but believe it or not, I actually ran into the patient and her mother at the park. She said the patient was perfectly fine. Whoa, so the cough was completely gone? Yeah, she said that all of a sudden her daughter felt better, so they decided to just leave that night. But of course, I told them that they needed to let a doctor know that they were discharging themselves. <sighs> but it was very, very weird. One of the weirdest days at the hospital, for sure. Wow, what a cool story. Thank you, Nurse Shannon. All right, well, go ahead and press the nurse's call button if you need anything else, okay? All right, thank you. Huh, huh? that's so weird. I thought I turned that light off. Is anyone in here? Huh. Cupcake. Huh? What 
was that? Huh, <sighs> my mind's playing tricks on me. Whew, there are some really weird days at this hospital. Wow, that was a weird hospital story. Hmm, I forgot already. Did that little Shopkins have a virus in the foot, in the heart, or in the eye? Who remembers? Ah, now I gotta get some sleep. Ah.